It's time for Sports Extra Extra. We are in the midst of March Madness with the defending champion UConn Huskies as the number one overall seed. Now back in December of 2023, UConn head coach Dan Hurley joined me on a Zoom for a Sports Extra interview ahead of the 2023 Jimmy V Classic at Madison Square Garden. The things Hurley says about his players and what he was expecting of them the rest of the season all played out and all came to pass this year. It is really fascinating to look back, but why I'm really bringing you this extended version of our conversation. Well, we all know a lot about Dan and Bobby Hurley's legendary father, Coach Bob Hurley. In this interview, we learn more about Dan's father-in-law, his wife, Andrea's dad, who is the inspiration behind Dan Hurley's passion to help raise awareness and funds to fight cancer. And joining us now is the head coach of the reigning NCAA men's basketball champion, UConn Huskies and Jersey City, New Jersey native, Coach Danny Hurley. Welcome to Sports Extra. How are you? Great, Tina. Uh, definitely great to be on. Really appreciate your time, Coach. And look, I mean, I know it's still early. It's we're just getting into December, but great start to the season. I know a lot of non-conference play right now, but out of the gate, for you, what has been different as a team after winning the national title? I think um, just the, the the belief that you get, Tina, from everyone in the organization. I think uh, you know the belief in what you do, the belief in uh, in, in your style of play, in, in in your your cultural beliefs, and how you go about you know the the daily work, uh, the the trust factor. I think. You know, that the players and the families have in, in what we're preaching. Um, you know, they, they know that the, the formula works. Um, I think you take the court as, as a coach and as a player that was a part of the success of last year with with a different level of confidence. I think uh, until you've climbed that mountain, um, you know, maybe there are moments where you're, uh, you aren't quite sure, but when you've, uh, when you did what we did last March, I think, uh, you know, your confidence is sky high. What has impressed you about your players in the way that they've translated that confidence to the court already? Just that the work rate, um, you know, we're, uh, you know, we're, we're one of the, the biggest brands in college basketball uh, that's probably talked about the least. And, um, you know, we're, we're just, uh, you know, the basketball capital of the world here in Stores, Connecticut. Uh, you know, with all these national championships on the men's side and the women's side. And, uh, you know, we're just a program. It's just, it's about the work. Um, you know, we're just workers. We're, uh, we've got a gym rat uh, mentality and culture. And, um, you know, and, and we're all about pursuing like the biggest trophies and, and winning championships. I guess, Dan, being in that, that atmosphere, though, it kind of resonates because you come in, you have all of the, the previous championships and the women's team. Um, but, of course, your your dad, Bob Sr., was a reigning champ many times over at St. Anthony's, your brother. Although he went back-to-back -back titles when he was at Duke and I was at Maryland, so we, you know, wasn't that fun for me. But what, what did you learn from them and their approach, the way they handled those seasons after winning a championship? Was there anything you took from them? Yeah, I think um... – you know, from from my dad and and Bob, there's there's a, there's a bunch of things. I'd say mostly um, that you continue in your your evolution, um, continue to improve, like add different elements. You know, for you know, for me as a coach, like master other aspects of coaching. Um, uh, you know, areas where 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 you need to grow. Um, spend the summer, you know, focusing on. For me. You know, I, I don't like to play zone defense, so learning more about a different style of defense to add to our arsenal, um, you know, going into the, the next year, I think, um, you know, mostly what I got, though, growing up with those two, those two Hurley men was, uh, was a toughness about me and a, a mental toughness, a work ethic, a drive and ambition, which made me, I think, the perfect candidate for this job when the, when the job became avail available. Um, you know, when you, when you coach in the same place uh, that Jim Calhoun coached and where Gino also coaches, <laughs> you, you know, you better be a tough minded individual because it gets very loud around here when, when you're not playing championship level basketball and it takes a special type of 
I think, toughness from the leader of the program to be able to coach in a place where it's like anything, uh, anything but a national championship and people are mad. You know, and just thinking about your whole basketball arc from from growing up in Jersey City, you know, playing for your dad, going to Seton Hall, and and then you, when your coaching career began, I mean, you stayed in the Northeast, and you mentioned how you know the capital of the basketball sports world right now is in stores. Does it take a certain kind of a person, a certain kind of coach, to both work and succeed in this Northeast basketball region? Yeah, no doubt. I think basketball is. Uh... It's definitely different um, in this part of the country. I think uh, you know the intensity level, uh, the, the the passion, the physicality of the game. I think it kind of lines up with the weather this time of year. You know, it's kind of cold and dark early, and it's uh, and, and it's going to get snowy. Um, and I think the 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 Big East reflects that. Um, in my experience as a player, I, I had moments in my career, um, you know, where I played great and. Um, I had moments in my career, high school, college, where I struggled. Um, so I think that 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 play that that playing background um, and the different things I went through as a player, the ups and downs, I think it it allows me to relate to uh, the entire roster, which I, I think is really beneficial in terms of at times being that player's coach that the the guys need. So what do you like about the your players this year? I mean, I was watching uh, Donovan Klingon the other night against New Hampshire. He dropped 29 points. I mean, everyone's talking already about him being a lottery pick. Who, who are some of the guys that really have shown growth from last year that are really making a difference already this season? Yeah, so we, we returned the big three, um, or at least another big three here with, with Tristan Newton, the starting point guard, who is already the all-time leader in triple doubles, uh, in UConn history, just picked up his third, uh, you know, the other night. And, you know, Donovan Klingon, the, the 7-2, you know, Connecticut's own larger than life uh, personality and, and um, you know, is, is, is going to be a lottery pick. And then Alex Caravan, who's, uh, who le- actually led us in minutes last year as a freshman. And that speaks to his maturity and, and, and his, his uh, the impact he's had on us. And he's a future NBA player. Um, Cam Spencer, a transfer from Rutgers, who really stabilized uh, our, our guard position, losing Jordan Hawkins you know, to the NBA, who's having great success with the Pelicans. Um, and then a, a freshman class, I think, that was uh, one of the best in the country, Steph Castle, solo ball, two freshmen that you'll, you'll hear a lot about this year from us. Facing a lot of the uh, you know top 10, top 25 teams these last couple of games, you got UNC, in the Jimmy B Classic, you guys are playing the second game of the doubleheader, nine o'clock at Madison Square Garden on Tuesday the fifth. Um, but just, you know, just coming from a, a family, your basketball royalty, of course, the Hurleys and and the connection to coaching. What does the Jimmy Cla- B Classic mean to you? Yes, uh, you know, it, it hits close to home. Obviously, uh, you know, personally, you know, we've all lost loved ones, family, friends uh you know to this just this awful disease um obviously jimmy jimmy v uh, the coach the man uh the ambassador for basketball uh you know the inspirational um you know the inspirational uh thinker and speaker and coach uh it's it's so impactful we'll watch the the you know his incredible speech at the SBs as a group leading up to the event and then i mean carolina yukon and msg um, you know, when we played Indiana at the Garden, when, when two big brands, two of the biggest brands in college basketball get together at MSG in the world's most famous arena, uh, the, the uh, atmosphere is going to be uh, uh, electric. And Coach, you, you and your wife have given a lot of money and worked a lot with raising money for cancer research. What's the background with that? Yeah, um, my wife's uh, you know, dad, who, who she lost, and her family lost at a very young age, uh, you know, Ken Serakides, um was, uh, you know, just such a, a great guy, great family man. And, and uh, you know, I got particularly close to him uh, when I started dating my wife, Andrea, even though I was uh, just, uh, you know, uh, very rough around the edges, uh, you know, you know, kid from Jersey City um, that, uh, you know, just, we became very close and, and their family, it's such an incredible family, almost like a TV sitcom family. And 
uh, you know, I just I, would, I, I watched the, the way they the, the 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 loving, the caring, the interaction, and I kept waiting to see some dysfunction, and uh, I never saw it. And <laughs> and um, but but he got sick, and um, and and he lost his battle to the disease, and and I I saw what it did to the family, what what it, how how it, how much it hurt my wife and and her brother Ken and 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 her mom uh, Patty. And uh, just how devastating it could be to an incredible family. So, uh, you know, my wife uh, and, and our work with, uh, you know, the, the Cancer Society and, and Coaches vs. Cancer and, and anything that we could do uh, to help raise money or, or to bring attention uh, to, the, to this disease, uh, you know, we're obviously in. Coach, thanks so much for sharing that. And I, you know, want people to remember that when they see the passion from you on the sidelines there for sure on Tuesday night. Um, eventually we're gonna be getting into the, the Big East schedule and not to look you know too far ahead, but December 23rd, that is when St. John's comes up to UConn. You guys will be playing them in Hartford. So what are your thoughts on coaching against Rick Pitino now uh, in the Big East? Yeah, it's, um, I think the Big East this year is, is gonna be must see TV. I think, uh, I, I think it's, it, it's the best conference in the country, I think. Um, you know, you've got some incredible coaches. I think you have schools with, with, with really passionate fan bases. And I think we're, um, you know, I, th I think the games that, that excite you the most are against, you know, the best players, the best coaches, uh, the games that challenge you the most, the games that are going to have uh, the most electricity in terms of the environment. I mean, that's, those are the moments that really, really get you up in the morning and, and get you excited about, having the opportunity to do this. So, um, you know, I know that game at the Excel center will be, you know, one of our best crowds of the year. And, um, you know, St. John's is really, um, you know, they're, they're, they're the hunters right now. And I think, uh, you know, we're obviously defending national champions. Uh, every time that we take the court, we feel like we've got this, uh, this big target on us. So, um, you know, we better make sure we're ready that night. Um, you know, cause I know they're going to bring their best. Well, Coach Dan Hurley, thank you so much for joining us. It was just great to talk to you uh, and spend this time. Good luck to you and your UConn Huskies the rest of the year. So, I mean, do you talk about running it back with these guys or is it a game at a time? What do you take from from last season that you apply now, knowing that you've returned so many players and, and everyone's hunting you? <laughs> yeah, I. Um, you go into every season, I think, just as a coach here, I feel like um, – I'm doing my job, uh, you know, consistently at the level that that this university has, you know, hired me to do. If, if going into, you know, most seasons, uh, that we're a team capable of of, of winning the biggest trophies, and uh, we certainly go into this year feeling like we we have the type of roster, we have the type of uh, of basketball formula in terms of how we play, uh, where we have the right to go into the season uh, believing that we're a national championship contender. Um, I do think that this team is is not where last year's team was at this time. I think we we're a little bit older last year, but I think that the group has the upside potential because uh, these young players are going to improve a lot during the year. Where, uh, yeah, what we're talking about, um, what we're talking about being national champs and what that's going to take and and the commitment that's going to take and the efforts that's going to take and the unselfishness that that's going to take. And, um, you know, we, we feel like we're in the mix for six. Uh, we don't run from that. Well, coach, thank you. That's awesome. It's uh, truly going to be exciting. And uh, of course we can't wait to those times you come back to the garden. We'll see you there Tuesday night, plenty of games against St. John's. And then of course the big East tournament, all the best to you coach. Tina, great being on with you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you.